hard to believe, but we are already uh, on our last segment for this week's program of Travel Michigan with Dave Lorenz and Michelle Benash. And Michelle, uh, we're headed to Grand Rapids. Absolutely. And we are so glad that we have Doug Small, the president of Experience Grand Rapids, here with us today. So welcome to the show, Doug. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And you guys have constantly all sorts of great events coming up but the latest is grand rapids what restaurant week which is happening august 14th through 24th this year so tell us a little bit about restaurant week and what folks can uh, experience when they come to grand rapids for you this bet. Event. yeah uh, well we're all about food here we love our food and um we're very very proud of the the truly what, what we call farm to fork or earth to table type independent restaurants that we have in grand rapids and four years ago we just didn't feel like anybody was really celebrating that enough, and, and we took it upon ourselves to create a restaurant week here in Grand Rapids. So entering our fourth year, August 14 to 24, and uh, looks like it's going to be our biggest and best ever. You know, I'm just looking through this lineup of participating restaurants in Restaurant Week in Grand Rapids, and boy, you have a lot of great restaurants that are, are part of this. Um, is just about everybody downtown in, in, involved with this this Restaurant yeah. Week? Yeah, it's really picked up, Dave. Um, you know, while, while it's a countywide um, uh, promotion, if you will, um, you know, over half the restaurants that are listed um, are in what we would call the central business district or near downtown neighborhoods. Um, but for somebody that, you know, wants, you know, that's staying in a hotel out in the suburbs, there are plenty of restaurants out there that are participating. But each year seems to get better. We have 15 new ones this year, um, and we made a concentrated effort that it's all about local first and local ingredients and also try to get more ethnic restaurants in, and, and we were successful to doing that this year. Well, I see actually my favorite restaurant in Grand Rapids, Charlie's Crab, is uh, part of this. Yep. Uh, so, so how do, how does it work? I mean, yeah. uh, how do they? How, how do you take part in the program? Yeah. Well, once we get them um, interested in, in saying yes, um, they need to develop a menu. There's each menu has to be no less than three courses, um, and it's twenty five dollars at at most of the restaurants, uh, depending on their price point. It's twenty five dollars for three courses or more. We do have some restaurants. You know, if you look at around Grand Rapids, it's known for its places like Hopcat, mm-hmm. uh, which is a popular brew pub. Um, they they do two meals for twenty five dollars um, because of their price point there. Um, but it has to be three courses or more, regardless of the type of restaurant. And again, we encourage a, uh, numerous choices for each course, as well as l- l- using our local farms for the creation of those menus. And I have to say, in its fourth year. We're really getting there with the creativity. And, you know, I've, I've done multiple rest- restaurant weeks, and I've also done restaurant week in Grand Rapids. It is really a great way. It, it's a good excuse to get out, get downtown, try a place that you maybe haven't tried before, aren't sure about. Um, and, you know, because you save so much money, you have money left over to go yeah. to one of the breweries or go get a cocktail or go do something else while you're down there. It, well, it's, it's really a great event. Yeah, Michelle, you've got the idea down. I mean, there, there were a number of objectives when we created this, and one of them was... I mentioned about just, you know, putting more buzz around our restaurants. As you know, when we travel elsewhere, whether I'm going to Ann Arbor or Chicago, I tend to come back and talk about the meals I had. It's a big part of a visitor yeah. experience. And so we wanted to create that buzz locally so our visitors feel it when they come in. And um, so that's the biggest thing. The other one is to try to introduce new customers to our restaurants. And in that part, based on the feedback from our restaurants, is really working. So people, because of the price point, can try something that maybe they wouldn't have tried before because of price. They like it so much they go back and they're willing to pay full price, you know, two or three times throughout the year. Um, we're seeing great numbers. Um, um, and one of the things we do with it is we, we donate a dollar back for every meal served, a dollar back to the culinary program at Grand Rapids Community College for scholarships. Oh, what a neat idea. And it's really been great, um, Dave. We've, you know, we'll do upwards of eighteen thousand dollars a year that we give, um, and gone into our fourth year. You know, we've we've created over, you know, sixty thousand dollars in scholarship money for these students. So, you know, we want to create create the best qualified uh, culinary uh, kids coming out of this school in hopes they'll stay in Grand Rapids and make our product that much better. 
You know, I, I was looking at uh, your website, restaurantweekgr.com, mm-hmm. and it talks about how um, you can enjoy the, this great, uh, you know, fresh from the farm grown food and treat yourself to fantastic wines, brews, spirits. And, and as I sip this freshly pressed coffee from engineer Mark Blackwell <laughs> right now, I see that you also offer coffee pairings. I've never heard of that. Yeah, um, again, the encouragement of people to do something different. Um, you know, it's a natural to do wine. And, and then, of course, being Beer City USA, we do a lot of beer pairings. But um, we want them to go beyond that, and, and we've got coffee pairings um, for those that, that love their coffee. And uh, so uh, it's really, really a fun 10 days. And, uh, you know, we throw in a, a grand cocktail contest and, um, you know, a no- number of fun things for those consumers that are out enjoying it to, to really get involved. So um, we encourage everybody to take part in it. And there's a lot of things downtown that folks can do after their meal, entertainment, um, places to go, catch a show, things like that. That That's exactly uh, it. And it. You know, the first year, I will admit, um, we didn't concentrate enough on that, and now we're trying to make it a total experience. Um, you said it earlier, Michelle, that, you know, for $25, um, you, you can afford uh, to do something else, so whether that's a concert or just, you know, seeing one of the museums um, uh, or a show um, uh, over at uh, DeVos Performance Hall, and uh, we're doing more and more. Our, our hotels are also getting on board now, and they're developing, working with restaurants, working with area attractions to develop packages and telling folks, you know, get away from the kids for a night, come downtown and stay over and enjoy, you know, um, uh, the whole downtown experience. So it's become something people are looking forward to, and um, and, and it's been very beneficial to us. It's, it's really a comp- accomplishing our objectives. We're actually uh, seeing a show the weekend prior to Restaurant Week in downtown Grand Rapids. Darn it, I missed it. But uh, uh, that won't stop me from uh, finding one of the great restaurants. Uh, maybe I'll have to bug them and get you a deal yeah. the week before. <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's always a good idea. <laughs> well, a Restaurant Week is uh, August 14th through the 24th in Grand Rapids and uh, throughout uh, much of the county, so you should check that out. And I have to ask you, uh, looking at the website again, um, it says... Right on the home page of uh, restaurantweekgr.com, it says, Be sure to stop at Groove during Grand Rapids' fourth annual Restaurant Week. What is Groove? It's, a, it's, a, it's just an event going on uh, downtown, again, trying to create something uh, that folks can do that's a little bit different than uh, j- just eating. Um, you know, again, we're just trying to encourage people to, to, to look out a little bit more for other things to do. Well, you know, th- there's something special about Grand Rapids. Uh, it has really blossomed into a cosmopolitan, big city feel, small city um, enjoyment uh, place. Uh, I-, I just love GR, and uh, it doesn't matter whether you're planning to go there just for food, primarily, or if you're going there for one of the, the great cultural attractions. There really is something to do and to see any time of the year. Uh, can we kind of briefly talk about the some of the cultural attractions uh, downtown? Sure. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and thanks for, for bringing that up, too. We, you know, we like to refer to Grand Rapids as it's, it's impressive but yet cozy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we get that a lot from people that come over from Chicago that say, hey, we're, we want to get out of Chicago and the hustle and bustle of that great city, but we don't want to lose, lose all of our creature comforts. So they can come over to Grand Rapids, slow their life down a little bit, but still have the amenities they're used to in a larger city. So, um, and that includes our cultural attractions downtown. Um, you know, we've got five museums, depending on your taste, that are within walking distance of any of our hotels downtown, from the, the Ford Museum across the street to the Public Museum. Um, and then you've got um, UICA, and then you've got the Children's Museum, um, and uh, and then finally, of course, the Graham or the Grand Rapids Art Museum, all of those within blocks of one another. Yeah. Um, and and then you've got a lot of other little galleries down there too. So, you know, those are just more the visual arts, and then you've got the performing arts. I mean, Van Andel Arena continues to rank as one of the top venues of its size in the United States with concerts and other activities, um, as does the Voss Performance Hall. So. You could park that car if you are driving in and um, just, never just, get back into it. Never get back into it until you leave town. That's right. A very walkable town with plenty to do. And especially during Restaurant Week, you'll want to check it out. It's the 14th through the 24th. And for more information, all you have to do is go to restaurantweekgr.com. Thank you, Doug. Doug Small, president of Experience Grand Rapids. Well, that's all the time we have for Travel Michigan this week. Thank you to Mark Blackwell for engineering today's program. Thank you, Michelle, for joining me today. And we invite you to next week to Travel Michigan right here 
where your trip begins at michigan.org.